Ready? Yes. Hey everyone, so uh, we got front box squats coming up in our, in our next strength focus. We just had our first one this week on, I believe it was June 26, I think, Tuesday, something like that. It was Wednesday, 27th, something like that. So uh, we're just going to do a quick review of what that looks like. Uh, so when you come into classes, we don't have to spend as much time going over the points performance of what you want to see. So front box squat, we've done before. Uh, Trishan's going to demo a couple squats here. So the first thing is getting the proper setup. We're going to use a very low box, so we're just out of the bottom of that very bottom position of your squat. So Trishan is going to go ahead and squat to that box, and you can see she's right below parallel. She's really close to that bottom. So if you just kind of stand up and then just take a step forward, so you squat all the way down off the box, so you can show where the bottom of your squat is. So you can see your hips are going to go almost just below that plate, but now if she sits a little higher, that's going to be about where the plates are. So take a head, stand up. So the point of this is a couple of things. One, to get great depth in your squat, mm -hmm. and as well, uh, it's going to be to create power out of the bottom, not just the bottom of your squat, but as well transferring over to the first pull from your clean and your snatch as well, so you can generate force off the ground. So. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that bar and do a couple squats and go over a couple of common faults that we might see sometimes. So let's just go ahead. Let's do one really good squat. We're going to have a tempo. She's going to go nice and slow on the way down, pause in the box, and she's going to stand up. So now she did a great job. Let's see maybe a little slower. So let's go three seconds on the way down. One, two, three, two seconds, one, and stand. Good. Take a rest. Good. So she did a great job of keeping her torso nice and upright the whole time. So a couple of faults that we see. One is going to be relaxing too much. So let's see that. Relaxing too much on that box. And you see just that little bit, she starts to crunch forward and now try and stand up. And she's a little bit kind of crunched forward there. So stay nice and tight. Let's do one more. A good one again. Stay nice and tall in the chest, strong in the rack position, and stand. Much better. Okay, put it down, take a rest. And another very common fault that we see a lot of on this, especially when someone's not very strong in the thoracic or the quadriceps, is as they stand up to rock forward and the hips start to rise. So let's show me what that looks like. So she's gonna squat down. She's got good control there. Then she probably relaxed a little too much. And then she stands, and the hips shoot up first. So with this, we need to focus on keeping the chest up, driving those elbows up, and standing nice and strong off the box. Okay. Uh, one more that we can see sometimes is not enough control on the way down. So show me one where you kind of fall in the last couple of inches. So she's down, and she maybe it's too low, and she can't control it, and she falls down. And usually that's when she'll stand up and she'll really rock forward because she doesn't have the strength. So with that, either one, take some weight off the bar, or two, increase the height of the box so you can control the whole movement. So with that strength focus piece, we have those three sessions at the same weight, increase the weight, so on and so forth for about five different cycles. With the front box squat, you can either increase the weight or decrease the height that you're squatting to. Either way, making it a little more challenging for yourself each time. That is the front box squat.